and then movement of ideas in Indian tradition of knowledge, the, our, we have moved from multiplicity to oneness, multiplicity to oneness. As they say, that the Vayakaranas, the grammarians, they went to the seashore to collect, to collect what they call, uh, you know, Jinko uh, Hamkate, Paya Kate, Paya, to pay the small Ujo shells. They went to the seashore to collect shells, cowrie shells, cowrie, 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 cowrie shells. Well, the grammarian, tha, he went to the seashore and he collected cowrie shells. But in the process, he found a pearl. Usko pearl mil gaya. So the grammarian starts with the phonetics, with sounds, so many sounds of human language. And he proceeds with them right up to Shabd Brahma, where, where the Shabd, the word, becomes a Brahman. That like Brahman, it manifests itself and constructs the world. Shabdon se hi hum sansar rachte hai. Hum shabdon se hi sansar banate hai. Agar humko kisi cheez ka naam nahi pata, to hum us cheez ko jante hi nahi. Jab hum kisi cheez ko naam de dete hai, to hum usko jante hai, humne usko banaya hai. Humne usko pehchan liya hai. So the interdisciplinarity and then the movement of ideas from multiplicity to one. Jaysay grammar mein shabd brahma hai. Or aesthetics, poetics, literary theory, or arts mein, arts mein, you know, ras hai. The no ras hai. Par no raso mein, ultimately, ultimately, the, all the rasas go into shantarasa. Shantarasa. Shantarasa is the supreme. Some people say shringar is supreme. Some say shant is supreme. Some say karuna is supreme. But there is always one through which everything is explained. Second, second movement of ideas, our thought has moved from materialism to idealism. It is the opposite of the movement of thought in Europe. In Europe, with Plato, they started with the idealism and they ended up with Karl Marx, materialism. We started with the Charavakas. There is a book, and if you can note down, Please note down, it is a 13th century book by Madhavacharya and the title is Sarvadarshan Sangra. Sarvadarshan Sangra. In that book, the first chapter is Charavakas. Charavaka Charuvakas, whose speech was very pleasant to the people because they used to say, Koi atma nahi hai, koi paramatma nahi hai. Koi, koi bhi ye galat aur thik nahi hai. Sirf sharir hai aur sharir ka jo dharm hai, wo sach hai. Isliye enjoy karo. Udhar leke shuddh ghi piyo. Un dinon mein scotch nahi hoti thi na. Udhar leke shuddh ghi piyo. Tumhe kya chinta hai? Jis ne udhar diya, wo chinta karega. Aur wo kehte thhe panditon ko, ke agar, agar, agar is ganga mein shnan karne se moksh milta hai, to tum is mein doob kyo nahi jate? Aur machliyon ko moksh kyo nahi milta? So you know, they were hard materialists. Our thought begins with materialism, but it ended with Shankaracharya, with subjective idealism, where the only reality is Brahman, and all the physical world that we see is a manifestation, a manifestation of that one Brahman, one energy principle. Brahman is nothing but the energizing principle, and the whole universe, Amara Shabd bhi bada sundar hai universe ka, Brahmand, egg-shaped universe, elliptical, jo modern science kehti hai. And we wonder, telescope nahi thi, kuch nahi thi. Hamare rishiyo ne 5-7,000 saal pehle kaise samaj liya ke ye universe jo hai, ye elliptical hai, aur ye expanding universe. Wo kehte hai, ye expanding universe hai. So that you see, in Brahman, the whole Brahman universe is visualized as energized matter. Energized matter, jaysay lava hota hai, in which forms arise and forms collapse. You and I are here as forms in this, in this lava, energized matter. And uh, 100 years from now, none of us will be here. We'll be gone like the water bubble, like the wave, like the froth in a stream. We will come and we will go. The forms come and go. And the only truth only unchanging anadi ananta is Brahman, the energy, the energy principle, the energy principle. 
then let me now move to the next point what is new in the new education policy what is new two things are new in particular that is they have said okay, education should be given through indian languages mother tongue kaha hai unhone par mother tongue bada problematic concept hai what they perhaps what they mean is you know indian languages aajkal the medium of instruction is english particularly higher education higher kya ab to hum class 1 se angrezi padhate hain and in the states like maharashtra and gujarat where before independence the well to do people strong people they never sent their children to english schools they were so proud of being indians themselves they sent to marathi medium and gujarati medium today even there they sent children to the english medium schools so what the new education policy says is that the medium of instruction should be the mother tongue the bhartiya bhasha by mother tongue understand area ki language i i was chairing a language committee and i have submitted four volume report where i said that the state languages should be the medium of instruction jaise bihar mein up nagaland mein english if they want or angamis because northeast mein english is a state language they can use english or they can use angamis or nagamis whatever they want so state language so there are 23 state languages in india we are the we are the we are the actually actually from 7000 years we are the educators of the world duniya ko humne sikhaya hai armies have never marched out of india ideas have always marched out of india we have educated the world we are the teachers of the world but today for the last 182 years we have followed a policy of english एजुकेशन एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट अंग्रेजी सीखिए शिक्षा लीजिए और नौकरी पाइए इन द प्रोसेस देर इज अ पिरामिड एंड आवर इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस आर मार्जिनलाइज बट इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस आर टू रिच टू रिच देयर हिस्ट्री इज लॉन्गर देन दैट ऑफ इंग्लिश सो दे विल ऑलवेज बी देयर एंड ग्रेजुअली द इंडियंस विल गो बैक टू देयर मदर टंग्स देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट यू नो इट टेक्स टाइम टू गेट रिड ऑफ ए फॉरन लैंग्वेज इंग्लैंड इट सेल्फ England. It started. It became a French colony in 1066, and French became the language of government, language of education, language of culture in England from 1066. And do you know? It took them 300 years. Only after 300 years, they made their first law in English in 1353. So, अभी हमें तो सिर्फ कोई एक सौ बयासी तिरासी साल ही हुए हैं आई होप इन अदर थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी ईयर्स विल बी विल बी टोटली इंडियन द एजुकेशन बिकॉज इट इज थ्रू ए लैंग्वेज विच इज नॉट अवर ओन इट हेज नॉट टेकन बर्थ इन अवर कल्चर दिस लैंग्वेज टेक्स अवे फ्रॉम अवर कल्चर एंड इट मेक एट इट टेक्स अस टू इट्स इंटेलेक्चुअल सोर्स लाइज नॉट इन इंडिया बट इन द वेस्ट सो वी बिकम you know second rate westerners we become translators and our minds have become translated minds angrezi ki kitab padhte hain pehle usko apni bhasha mein uska anuvad karke samajhte hain we translate it and understand what it is you see and therefore it is it's a colonized mind deculturized society distant from its culture a young man or a woman who takes this education at best is ignorant of his own tradition and culture and at best at worst has contempt for it ab we are taught through a language who which is the language of people who looked down upon us for 200 years so we also become one who look down upon ourselves so ye jo language ka change hai it is a very radical change you a, a community a people who lose their language they lose their soul unka soul you know that soul their soul disappears you see and the second change that nep has made is the change is the change in that the content of education india knowledge 
should be part of the content of education. I am saying part of. I am not saying they have said don't teach the Western ideas. No, teach them because it is important. In fifth century, Bhartri Hari had said, say fifth century, Bhartri Hari had said that what does he know? Who knows only his own tradition? Listen to this, fifth century AD, an Indian thinker. What does he know? Who knows only his own tradition? Because the mind acquires a critical acumen by interacting with other traditions. That was a confident India. You see, proud of itself, its knowledge, and prepared to interact with traditions. Today, you have to say, what does he know? Who does not know his own tradition? Is ko apni tradition hi nahi pata. We are like you know those uh, broiler chickens. You know we look very impressive. Our dress bhi badi achhi hai, and our Angrezi badi achhi bolte hain. Or our khana bhi bade badiya burgers vagera khate hain. But the only problem is you know the broiler chicken hota hai, which is brought up for cutting up and eating. Wo bada white or red kalgi or big hota hai. The only problem with the broiler chicken is. And we people who are victims of our education cannot stand on our legs. Cannot stand on our legs. So those things that new education policy has done very important that give education through your language. Secondly, make your own jnana part of your education. Part of your education. And uh, Islab, I think I've taken a lot of time. I will know quickly, quickly, you know, move through some of the subsequent points that we have to take. You know, how to Indian languages you introduce? There is a question there. Indian languages become medium, yes, but they will also be subjects naturally, subjects. And in some, some, you see, if you are, if you are a, let's say, I am a Punjabi, and my my child is learning through Punjabi. Punjabi is the medium of all his study, but that doesn't mean he can't study Punjabi as a subject. He will study Punjabi as a subject also. And you have to plan your policy in such a way that the language, Indian language, is a medium and also the subject. And uh, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will, you will have the, maybe they will share with you the other points that I have written, but I'll come down to the question of knowledge, knowledge content. Now, knowledge content, India knowledge in arts, humanities, and social sciences, uh, humanities and sciences, and professional education, char level, and char areas, arts, humanities, science, and professional medicine and engineering and all that. And there are levels. There is school education, there is the undergraduate, there is the postgraduate, and there is a professional, and there is a research. research in, so, four levels are there. Four levels are there, four domains are And we have to introduce our knowledge in all the levels and in all domains, in all domains. And I want to assure you, I assure you, as for, you know, let's say, that you have to learn the grammar of Vyakaran. Now, Vyakaran, you have to पहली क्लास के बच्चे को भी पढ़ा सकते हो और व्याकरण हम लिंग्विस्टिक्स में हम व्याकरण पे रिसर्च भी कर सकते हैं मिल्टन की पोएम या या जयशंकर प्रसाद की पोएम या शेक्सपियर की सोनेट आप क्लास वन में भी पढ़ा सकते हो और एमए में भी पढ़ा सकते हो गहराई समझ की गहराई का भेद होता है इसलिए भारत का जो ज्ञान है उसको हर लेवल पे इंट्रोड्यूस करना है स्कूल में ट्यून करके वहां अंडर ग्रेजुएट में पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट में और प्रोफेशनल एजुकेशन रिसर्च में और प्रोफेशनल एजुकेशन और हमने जेएनयू में किया जेएनयू में मैंने किया जेएनयू में मैंने एमए इंग्लिश में आई इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ कोर्स टेक्स्ट्स ऑफ इंडियन सीरीज ऑफ सीरीज ऑफ कोर्सेस Texts of Indian intellectual tradition. Example देता हूँ तो आप समझ जाएंगे कि इनको introduce कैसे करना है। हमें अगर भारत का ज्ञान अपनी education में लाना है, तो हमें secondary books नहीं लिखनी है। History of Indian knowledge और history of Indian science या Indian knowledge system का introduction 
उसमें चैप्टर वन फिजिक्स पे चैप्टर टू पोइट्री पे इस तरह ये नहीं दिस विल नॉट वर्क आपको अपने मूल ग्रंथ योर ओरिजिनल प्राइमरी टेक्स यू हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस इन दी इन दिस सिस्टम फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन आई वॉज टीचिंग इन जे एन यू एंड इन जे एन यू वी ओनली हैड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट एंड रिसर्च यू नो एम एम फिल पी एच डी आई इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन एम ए इंग्लिश दी टेक्स ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल ट्रेडिशन प्लीज लिसन टू दैम द फर्स्ट टेक्स आई टॉट वॉज पानीज अष्टाध्याय एंड रिमेंबर इन जे एन यू एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो वॉज ए सेमेस्टर सिस्टम होल सिक्स मंथस एम ए इंग्लिश स्टूडेंट्स studied only one book ashtadhyayi of course we did not study it to learn sanskrit no it is a the knowledge of sanskrit came as a follow out follow out we studied ashtadhyayi to see how a knowledge domain can be analyzed and how a statement can be made about it you see analysis that is why ashtadhyayi is being taught in nasa also nasa also what a modern what a modern analytical algorithmic mind is behind that grammar everything is algorithmic it follows an algorithm you see to usne padhate the so first course was panini's ashtadhyay then in the next semester we taught we learnt we took up the same ash bhartri hari's vakya padiya vakya and padiya sentence and word it's a it's a fantastic unequaled book of philosophy and grammar of language philosophy of language no book in the world just as there is no book no grammar in the world equal to ashtadhyayi there is no no book in the world equal to bhartri hari's philosophy of language vakya padiya and it has three part 3.3 point two part you know three third part has two parts third kand कांड कहते हैं हमारे यहाँ तीन कांड हैं उसके ब्रह्म कांड है और वाक्य कांड है और पद कांड है और पद में फिर जो ग्रामेटिकल कैटेगरीज हैं वो भी आती हैं एंड देन द थर्ड कोर्स वाज ऑन भरत नाट्य शास्त्र नाउ भरत नाट्य शास्त्र नाट्य शास्त्र सिंपली मींस साइंस ऑफ इनेक्टमेंट साइंस ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस नाटक नाट्य नट हमारे यहाँ नट होता है ना जो गाँव में देखा होगा रस्सी बांधते हैं रस्सी बांध के ऊपर एक बांस को लेके वो ऐसे ऐसे बैलेंस करके चलता है वो नट है तो नट इज एन एनेक्टमेंट इट्स ए परफॉर्मेंस नट शास्त्र इज ए साइंस ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस एंड परफॉर्मेंस साइंस इट इंक्लूड्स लैंग्वेज म्यूजिक डांस एंड इनेक्टिंग इनेक्टिंग यू सी जेस्टर्स ऑफ द बॉडी बॉडी पार एन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग आई मस्ट टेल यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू से वेन वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ समथिंग विच इज डियर टू अस the hand moves near towards us my friend my friend you don't say my enemy you say my enemy my enemy your hand moves away when you don't like something what an encyclopedia it's an encyclopedia of human behavior human gestures of music of dance you know and natasha is the third and the fourth patanjali is a yoga sutra now it is understood yoga is understood these days only as you know physical acrobatics no that physical training is a training of the body unless your body is fit you cannot you cannot train your mind the goal of yoga sutra is to increase the ability of your mind cognition and cognitive process in fact patanjali who wrote ko yoga sutra he says that those who follow what i have said here he didn't say i have said those who follow the practices of yoga they end up with two gain two results unke do do gain hote hain two results number 1 uske man ko gati milti his mind acquires a speed now speed is a is a is a quality of a, the computers aajkal hum computer ki speed ki baat karte hain here is yoga sutra talking of the speed of the mind your mind will get gati and number 2 you will be able to experience things without actually experiencing them you know you can you don't have to undergo every experience you become a universal mind what is a universal mind you see you understand everything seen and unseen you can 
you can look at something and look behind look through it you can look through it abhi at a lower level these abilities are there in each one of us if we train ourselves we can we can jaise hum kisi bada close ho hamare agar meri wife uski main shakal dekh ke keh deta hu kya baat hai kya baat hai dukhi kyun lag rahi ho kya baat hai koi gadbad hai how do i know how do i know how have i entered her mind how have i entered her mind so we develop this ability in the yoga you develop siddhis siddhis and in the divya vidyas in the divya vidyas the threshold sciences that i mentioned in the beginning in the beginning eight of the divya vidyas are siddhis which come from yoga you know the patanjali says a person who becomes completely non violent in his thought and action who has choose violence who has choose violence uh who has choose violence that person that person even the wild animals will come and sit near him you know the sparrows will come and sit on his shoulder because there is no violence in him and and another thing he says a person who always speaks the truth jo vyakti hamesha sach bolta hai uske muh se jo bhi niklega wo ho jayega isliye hamare yahan bade bude kehte hain ke galat shabd mat bola karo don't speak wrong words about anybody because you never know because the shabd has a power if you are a particular kind of person your blessing and your curse will have effect patanjali says those who speak the truth everything they speak will come true will come true you see isliye mata lo mothers you know our mothers give blessings to us jeete raho lambi umar pao you see because they know the mother's blessing actually works actually works so the fourth text was so these texts we taught so therefore if we have to build knowledge knowledge india knowledge it won't by the having introductory second rate secondary writing ke kisi kapil kapoor ne kitab likh di indian knowledge ke upar usko prescribe kar diya wo nahi chalega aapko bachchon ko mool granth padhane hain and it is my experience that ever our students if they if they learn study one one indian text they change they change their philosophy of life changes their mind quality changes their self respect increases their shoulders become erect because till then they had been thinking that all knowledge is created in the west but when they read you know the reader ka difference what difference and deference aur jisne apna advait nahi padha you know advait siddhant nahi padhe wo deeply impress ho jata hai difference bhed jisko ye nahi pata that in the indian indian system of thought bhed buddhi the the mind which looks at difference is considered a lower kind of mind and the higher kind of mind goes to abhed non difference and advait says that difference is not an ontological category it doesn't exist it is an epistemological category it is when only when you see two things then you know then you know that uh, then you know that uh, you see there is something like difference so it is the original text i think i will i have many things in the ppt which i hope maybe can be shared with you people ignu may be able to supply you the the text of that there are many things but we have a long tradition textual tradition attested kita granth hain thinkers hain mathematics mein metallurgy mein aapke samne hai aapke samne kutub minar mein fourth century ad ka iron pillar hai steel pure steel jo ke 1600 1800 saal mein bhi uski rusting nahi hui hai rust nahi laga you see so we knew metallurgy to the extent in 400 ad before 400 and the the the, the paris ka jo paris mein wo jo hai 
द फेमस मोनूमेंट उसको हर हर साल मिलियंस ऑफ रुपी लगा के उसको रेस्ट फ्री रखा जाता है स्टील में बट दिस आयरन पिलर ऊपर खुला पड़ा है अंधेरी आती है बारिश होती है 1800 साल हो गए हैं पर जंग नहीं लगा सो मेटालर्जी फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथमेटिक्स आर्किटेक्चर वेपनरी यू नो शिप बिल्डिंग यू नेम द साइंस एंड देर आर प्राइमरी टेक्स वी हैव फॉरगॉटन ऑल दैट बिकॉज लाइक हनुमान जी हु हैड फॉरगॉटन इज स्ट्रेंथ वी ऑल सफर फ्रॉम ए हनुमान सिंड्रम यू सी वी हैव फॉरगॉटन अवर स्ट्रेंथ वी ओनली remember we are told again and again about our weaknesses but nobody reminds us of strength hanuman was reminded by jambavant that you are you forget your stand hanuman sitting on the bank of rameshwaram you know and he grew large and he jumped across to lanka till then he was just sitting like an ordinary person who had no strength so i think it's time to discover i am grateful to the makers of the nep 